The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. For Yahweh says this, Shout with joy for Jacob. Hail the chief of nations. Proclaim, praise, shout. Yahweh has saved his people, the remnant of Israel. Watch, I shall bring them back from the land of the north and gather them in from the far ends of the earth. With them, the blind and the lame, women with child, women in labor, all together, a mighty throng will return here. In tears they will return. In prayer, I shall lead them. I shall guide them to streams of water by a smooth path where they will not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn son. And our response is from Psalm 126. When Yahweh brought back Zion's captives, we lived in a dream. Then our mouths filled with laughter and our lips with song. Then the nations kept saying, what great deeds Yahweh has done for them. Yes, Yahweh did great deeds for us and we were overjoyed. Bring back Yahweh, our people from captivity, like torrents in the Negev, those who sow in tears sing as they reap. He went off, went off weeping, carrying the seed. He comes back, comes back singing, bringing in his sheaves. In our second reading, from the letter to the Hebrews, every high priest is taken from among human beings and is appointed to act on their behalf in relationships with God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He can sympathize with those who are ignorant or who have gone astray because he too is subject to the limitations of weakness. That is why he has to make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor on himself. It needs a call from God, as in Aaron's case. And so it was not Christ who gave himself the glory of becoming high priest, but the one who said to him, you are my son, today I have fathered you. And in another text, you are a priest forever of the order of Melchizedek. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Mark. They reached Jericho, and as Jesus left Jericho with his disciples and a great crowd, Bartimaeus, that is the son of Timaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting at the side of the road. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout and cry out, Son of David, Jesus, have pity on me. And many of them scolded him and told him to keep quiet. But he only shouted all the louder, Son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him here. So they called the blind man over. Courage, they said. Get up. He is calling you. So throwing off his cloak, he jumped up and went to Jesus. Then Jesus spoke. What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, let me see again. Jesus said to him, go, your faith has saved you. And at once his sight returned and he followed him along the road. The Gospel of the Lord.